Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and it is Friday freebie time. These are the freebies for today. Um, now, before I put the background on here, I went ahead and put a little piece around the flower just so that it'd be easier to trim out, but you can do it any way that you want to. If you want to trim right up against them, you can. I'm not good at that, so I don't. I may even be fussy tearing mine, I'm not sure. But I've got a ton of scraps over here. I've got all of these that's been laying on my desk for a while. So we're gonna make some tags and pockets and who knows what. I just need to get a bunch of this off of my desk and I need tags and I need pockets for journals that I'm making. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll just start out with, oh. I'm going to start out with a piece of this. This was sent to me by one of you. You know who you are. These are not too thick, but I think once I get the paper on the front, maybe they'll be thick enough. I don't mind these holes here, so I may just run the paper up to right there. I don't know. This might have come out of a little notebook or something. I don't know, uh, but I like it. So, and these are some scraps that I pulled out, and they're just, they're offcuts and just pieces that have not printed right, and then this is some of Alicia's digital that didn't print exactly right, so I thought I would use some of that. I love this digital, I love that right there, I might use that. And then that one's really pretty, which all of these are pretty, but I'm just saying, I'm just pulling out some that I probably use on some of these larger pieces. You can see I'm overrun with scraps. I need to get I need to get a lot of stuff done. <laughs> I am running over. I, I think I might do that. And I may just leave those little holes there. Because this has got yellow in it and that's got yellow in it. I like that. So Let's go ahead and start gluing. <clears throat> so thank you to the person who sent these to me. I appreciate it. So what have you guys have been doing? My daughters whisked me off to a little three-day getaway to a very cold beach. <laughs> I've never been to a beach where I was so cold, but I was so cold. I wanted to come home. Um, I love the beach, but I don't like it when it's cold. But we got to spend some time with the grand girls. The, it was just a girls trip, so we all spent some time together and laughed and shopped and cut up and had a good time, even though it was cold and windy and oh, rainy. And But... I said that's the first time I've ever come back from the beach and I had goosebumps instead of a tan. Okay, hopefully I got that somewhat near straight, maybe. So I didn't even, I got one video uploaded while I was there. I had some on my computer, but the internet where we stayed was so awful. Oh my word, it was terrible. You couldn't even hardly get a text out. So I had to use my hotspot on my phone, and it takes it forever to upload. So it took it all night long to upload one video. So I didn't even try anymore. I said, I, I really don't want to deal with it. But I know you guys survived without me anyway. I know you do. Now, I've got some paper over here that I think will be good for backing. Somewhere in this little stack. Yeah, I know you guys do just fine without me now i may put the backing all the way over and let that little bit of white show through or hmm what i could do i could ink that edge let's see let me see what we can do here i could just ink this edge and then that the brown would show through instead of the white. Which I don't mind the white, but we'll see what that looks like. If it doesn't look good, then we can always put it somewhere else. Well, that kind of just blends right in, doesn't it? 
You know, I'm thinking I like the white better, so I'm actually going to put it on white and not on the brown. I used that brown for something else. So we got to go to another lighthouse, and I wasn't able to climb it that day. I, I just didn't feel good, and I had a just a little bit of a ear problem and I knew I couldn't go up the lighthouse if I had any kind of inner ear because I'd end up falling <laughs> so I stayed down and paid for everybody else to go up well the ones that wanted to there was some that wanted to and some that didn't so I just I let them have it and I took plenty of pictures the first one I've been to that I didn't climb but I just, I didn't feel like that I needed to. I was afraid that I would hold people up, and so I just didn't do it. This one was a lot steeper. The steps are a lot steeper than what I'm used to, so I just didn't, I was, I was a little bit concerned about trying it out. There wasn't, there wasn't a lot of room for the people that was coming down and the people that was going up to pass, so you had to kind of hold over to the edge to let the people pass coming down, and it just wasn't an ideal situation. So once I got in there and I saw the steps and everything, I said, no, nah, I think I'll let y'all go. I don't think your mama's going to tackle this one. I like that. Yeah, that'll be pretty. Now, I may not decorate every one of these. The reason being is I like to just make a bunch of them and lay them to the side and then decorate later. But who knows if I will or not. It's one of those things where if it strikes me, I will. And if it doesn't, I won't. Now, see, that can be a nice journal card or tag whatever you might want I saw where a lot of you guys had watched a lot of my other videos and commented on those so thank you very much I appreciate that YouTube appreciates it <laughs> they kind of frown on us taking a long period of time off they uh, they like for us to be productive most all the time so, which I, I try to be, but there's just sometimes that you just can't do it, isn't it? Which they don't, they're not that stickler. It's just that, you know, you, you don't get pay if you don't have videos up where people can watch them. So, and that's how I pay for my groceries and gas and car payment and things like that is out of my videos. So, I have to keep something going. I'm trying to find a label. Sorry, I had it pulled over out of the frame because I was looking in the wrong package. Nope, we don't want that one, do we? I don't really want a big label. I'd like to have something a little bit green right up here. We could just put that one on there. You know what? I may put that on there. It's not exactly green, but it says botanical, and it's got a flower and a butterfly on that. So I may do that. And then that might be all of the decorating that I'll do on this piece until I start to put it in a journal. And then I'll know more about what colors to put on it and that kind of thing. And we went to the naval... Um, museum and got some t-shirts and things like that we had a good time all in all we did so there's one out of the way and that piece is done now I've got more of those but I'm going to kind of alternate and not do all the same ones so let's just do one of these tags I've got some various sizes of these some of them are skinny some of them are not so skinny and then I've got some of these pieces left where I made some tags last week so we will just I think I'll make this one and then try to put one of those flowers on it now the flowers that I did for you today the freebie I did them large because I know a lot of times I like the larger flowers so that I can put them on my tags and things 
So, but if you don't want them large, you can always just print them two to a page and shrink them down a little bit. So let's see what we're going to put on this. I may put something kind of plain on this and then put a flower on top. Might be what I do. What about that? See, that printed wrong. So, sorry, my sleeves are driving me crazy today. I wore long sleeves because it was cool this morning. And now they're dragging everything off the table. And they're just bugging me. So I'm having to pull them up. And they won't stay up because they're tight. Just one of those days. You ever have those days where you just feel like your clothes don't fit? <laughs> your clothes just don't work. I have those days quite often. It's like, did I put my clothes on backwards? Because they don't feel good today. Oh, that's going to be a pretty tag. Now, what flower? We've got some pinks over here, so we could go with any of them, really. But I think I'm going to go with this one. And I am going to just tear it out. I'm not going to try to fussy cut it because... It would take me a while, and I just don't want to take that time right now. So I'm going to try to fussy tear it. Okay. I think that's good enough. And I'm going to ink a little bit. Now, I just noticed when I was tearing this out that my color right here is a little bit off. I'm going to put a little ink on it. I apologize for that. Um, you probably won't, won't notice it at all if you cut it out. But since I was tearing it, I noticed it. So, just thought I would let you know. I didn't even notice it when I was testing it and printing them out. I just happened to see it then. I did this freebie on the way home from the beach, and Alicia was driving, and so, you know, it was a stop-and-go thing a lot of times because the interstate was a madhouse, as you can imagine, here at Easter. And it was spring break here, too, so that just made it that much worse. But, so it was, I couldn't, sometimes I couldn't hit the right buttons. Right. Yeah, I don't mind that. So you don't always have to fussy cut them. Sometimes you can just fussy tear and they look okay. Or in my opinion, they do anyway. Somebody else might disagree with me, but I don't mind mine being like that. Okay, I think I'm just going to put a small label on here. Right there. And I don't know about where you live, but around here, the pollen is horrible. Alicia's sick. Brooklyn's sick. Presley's sick. Erin is sneezing and coughing. So it's been a wild time. Now, I want to put a little topper on here, so I'm just going to punch something. I have been coughing today, but I don't think it's, I think it's just the pollen. It's just, just getting in my throat. That might look like punched. Alicia wasn't really feeling good when we was at the beach. She really didn't feel that great at all, but she's a trooper. She just goes on anyway. She's a tough girl, but, um, then when we got back, then Brooklyn started sneezing and coughing a little bit. And Presley got sick the day that we were leaving. She got a little bit nasally that day, so it's just that time of year around here, I guess. There we go. I like that. So there's another one, and just using the fussy cut part of the flower. Now, this might not be your thing. That's okay. Do it the way you want to. You can take time and cut all that out if you want but sometimes when I really don't feel like doing that intricate fussy cutting I don't mind just doing it like that 
to me, it works. <clears throat> and if it works, I'm happy. Okay, I think I'm going to use this, but I want to cut it. I don't want it quite that wide. I want to make some small tags, but I don't necessarily want them that wide. I'm going to cut it down to three and a half. These are some time cards that someone sent me. A friend of mine sent me some time cards, and I have been using them like crazy. I love them. They're easy to use. They're easy to, uh, they're just the right thickness. So I've been using them up. Well, I can't use them up because she sent me a ton, but I have been using them anyway. Now, this is another one of Leisha's Digitals. This is on her spring digital, I do believe. I'll try to remember to link it below, but I want that on there, I think. And I won't even have to put anything else on that piece. Now, I'm using my art glitter glue because these papers are pretty thick, so the glue's not going to show through. If you've got thin papers, then you probably need to use your glue stick. But I printed these on 28-pound paper, so it shouldn't show through there. And I know this is not rocket science for you guys, but it's just a mass-making session. Can't always do rocket science, can you? Some days you just got to do the simple things. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? To me, that's not too simple. That's pretty. But it's her digital. It's not my creation. Now, I think... Let's see. I am going to cover the back of this just because that is... Um, got all that black on there. So I think I'll just put it on here. That should work. And then we'll decide if we want to cut it into a tag shape or if we want to just do the edges or what we want to do. I'll try to make sure that I get it on. So pull out whatever you have laying around. Whether you have some old time cards, whether you have some index cards, whatever you have, and just start making ephemera. Make tags and pockets and journaling cards. Just make ephemera. You're, if, you're, if you do journals like I do, then you're always going to need ephemera. Yeah, you can write on that. That'll be pretty. I never have enough ephemera when I start decorating a journal. It's like I think I do until I start decorating, and then I'm like, man, I need about a hundred more of those. I'm going to make this into a journal card. But I like them when you put a paper on there that already has your flowers and things on. You don't have to do very much at all to them to make them really, really nice. So let's see, do we want a little, no, nope, not that one. That one's too blendy, blendy. What about a green? Nope, that one stands out too much. Here's one that has, it's kind of a bluish purple, but I think it'll work. And I may wrap it around because I don't want that whole tag on the front. So I think I'm gonna put it on like that and wrap it around. Tag, I call this a tag. This is not a tag, this is a label. I'm not tired at all. Not a bit. I tell you, it's got to where riding makes me tired. I get tired of riding than I do anything. Okay, then it, part of it goes to the back. I like that, and I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. Everything's falling over. Right, what else should we use? We've used a tag. We've used... Let's just use an envelope. Someone sent me quite a few envelopes the other day and said, I know you've got plenty of envelopes, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> so we'll use some more envelopes. And I'm going to close this whole thing up. I'm just using the envelope for the thickness, not for the 
pocket or anything like that just for the thickness and then let's get another pretty piece of paper what about this one printed wrong so that would probably be a nice one there we go I think I want this part on there though I want that flower on there I'm gonna cut this off because I don't need now you could fold this up and make a pocket tag we did that the other day so on this one I'm not gonna do that because it wasn't but just a few days ago that we did those this one I'm just gonna cut it off to about six and a half inches now I'll keep that little piece I could make a pocket out of that but I, a separate pocket is what I mean so then I'm gonna glue this bottom together even though I don't think I need to but I'm gonna do it anyway okay now I want to put it right there so I'm just gonna glue it these envelopes junk mail envelopes are just the right thickness to make nice tags and pockets out of you don't have to put anything else behind them or in front of them or whatever to make a nice tag with to make them thicker you don't have to put anything on there that's why I like using them whoops well, I rolled that one up didn't I I'm hoping I got it in the right place I'm not even gonna look until I get it cut out oh I did I did got it in the right place I like that this is from one of my digitals don't remember which one but I'll try to remember to link it below you know me I can't remember the names now this doesn't need another flower on there because it's already got one I'm just gonna back it with some writing paper and I do have writing paper somewhere in here in my little stack so we'll just call this a mass making session won't we? Now, that'll be good to write on I've got lots of things that I need to scan to make digitals out of uh, we're gonna start on that next week Alicia when Alicia gets to feeling better she's my she's my scanner so she will be starting on that next week and then I'll be bringing you lots more digitals and those numbers are upside down so let's do it this way and they'll some of them are just very vintage documents and just things like that so it's going to be some different things than what we have up right now Someone said they like watching me just to hear me talk, so that's why I'm talking a lot. <laughs> I can't imagine anybody wanting to watch me just to hear me talk, but anyway. If you do, then I, today is my talking day. I may not feel like talking tomorrow, but today is my talking day. Oh, my glue's still wet, so it's not going to punch exactly right. But we'll do what we can. Don't punch it when your glue's wet. Not a good idea. I got those little giblets all over me now. I thought it wasn't glued together good enough, but it looks like it is. Now, if you wanted to make a side tuck pocket or something out of these, you could definitely do that very easy because you've got that envelope in the middle. You could have just left it open and have a little side tuck. But we've done that recently, too, so I didn't want to do more of those. I have a few of those in my stash, so that's why I didn't. Oops, just dropped some things. I think I'm going to put this down here, and it's just going to bring that green kind of down. With, so your eye can see that green at the top and the bottom. And see, these are simple, simple tags.
tags, journaling cards, and pockets. Nothing complicated. Now, some of these I'll stitch around. Some of them I may not. I don't know. I won't know until I start to put them in my journal. Now, we're going to use these little pieces to make some pockets. These are fantastic to make pockets out of. You can make double pockets where you have one back here and then one in here. Or you can just glue that together and make a single pocket. I think on this one, I'm going to make a single pocket. I'm going to glue this together. And then on one in a little bit, we might make a different kind of pocket. We'll see. Let's see what we're going to use on this one. Let's try something different. I'm trying all of the different variations of my scraps over here. So I've got a little bit of everything. Here's another one of Alicia's digitals. That'll be pretty for a pocket. But I think I'm going to put that breathe on there. And you YouTube members, not subscribers, but members, make sure you go over and check the community page on mine and Melina's YouTube channel because you have a discount code over there where you can use it to shop. It, it's going to end today, so... You have to get it quick if you're going to get it, but um, that's for our YouTube members. We try to give them some special deals every so often, and this just happened to be a, well, it's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime discount. Melina come up with it, and I was like, okay, you trying to bankrupt us or what? <laughs> she said, no, mother, but they deserve a big discount. So it's a very big discount. Make sure you check if you are a member. You can't get it unless you are. And that's just because we, you know, they pay a monthly fee to be a member. So we not only tr give them free digitals, but then we try to give them a little extra every so often just to help compensate because they're, they're helping us out. So we try to help them out. There we go. There's a nice pocket. It's finished. Ready to go. Uh, I'm going to put a little tiny label up here, and I think I saw one just a minute ago. It's a little beauty one. I have got to get all my labels sorted. I think I'll put that there because these little jars, it looks like they're like on display for sale or something. I'll put that on there. Well, I have lots more labels than I need to print, too, that I haven't even printed because I don't have time to cut them out. There we go. Got that one. Um, what do we want to do now? Let's see. Um, I've got this little piece of a file folder that was just left over there in my stash. Let's just make a skinny tag, tall skinny tag out of it. Now, I'm going to measure because it looks like it's not exactly straight. Three. It's a little bit off, but not much. I think we can straighten it up, maybe. There we go. It's just a tiny little bit. Now, we're just going to make, I always need tall skinny tags. Those are the ones that I run out of before I do anything else because I make those little flip sides, uh, flip pockets, and it's hard to get a regular tag in there, so I use the little tall skinny ones. Now I'm trying to find a piece of paper. Let's just use this one. I like that with that big B on there. I told Brooklyn I did that B for her, so, and I'm going to kind of center it because I don't want to cut my little bird in half, so I'm going to kind of center it. This is from one of my digitals, too. It's the latest one, not the latest one, but the one right before. I will try my best to link all of them below. If you are a YouTube member, you can use your discount code on the digitals as well, just through today, so... <laughs> There we go. Hopefully I got that centered up enough. Maybe. I think so. Maybe it'll work. I'm 
I think I'm just going to trim it. I started to fold it around, but I didn't want to fold real good, so I think I'm just going to trim it off. And these little pieces like this you can use in your collage pages. So don't throw those away. They're good for your collage. I need to make a lot more collage pages. I've got lots of book pages that I need to do something with. Yeah, we got that in the middle. Good. And that'll be a nice tall skinny pocket. So let's put something on the back. I want to cover the back. I think I've got some paper right here in the back. Um, can't put that blue on there because there's no blue in it. We use this. This is a printed piece of coffee dyed paper. And to me, if you print them on a good quality paper, you can't tell the difference in the printed ones and the regular. The printed ones are a lot flatter. <laughs> Sometimes you, when you buy them from somebody who has coffee dyed them, they're a little bit crinkly on the edges, but your printed ones come out real flat. Oh yeah, I like that. Now, I think on this one, I might make it into a tack shape. Let's get my little template here. Let's see. I don't want to cut too much off of it, so I'm going to use this little tiny template right here. And I didn't want to lose a lot of my flowers, even though I want a little bit more than that, so I'm just going to do this. Alright, let's go ahead and ink it while I think about if I want to put anything else on it. It's it's kind of decorated up pretty good, so I don't think I want anything else on it. I think I'm just going to use my ribbon punch and put a little punch at the top and then I'll put some seam binding in that. I may put a little label down here if I have one that looks like it would work. I do have this little tiny purple one. It's not quite the same purple as that bird, though. I've never really seen a purple bird. Have you? Have any of you seen a purple bird? But we got a purple one on here. Mm, that one's a little bit too big. It covers up too much. I think I'll just put this down here. With that little heavy green or thick green border around it. I like that. And I know I'm not using very many of my flowers on some of these, but there, a lot of them are already decorated. Now you could, um, you know, cut one of these flowers and put it on there if you wanted. Like that one would be pretty. Now if I had printed that one a little smaller, that one would be great. That would be just the right size. But I didn't print it smaller, so it would be a little bit big. I would lose some of it. But... You can print them two to a page, and these will be smaller. And see, that one would go on there well, too. So it's it's basically whatever you want. That one would go good, but I would fussy tear it and not, not uh, try to cut it out because I'm not real great at cutting things out. Let's see what we got here. See if I've got a little skinny, tall flower. That's all I need, just a skinny flower. I think I might like this one better. Yeah, let's put that one on there. That one's already cut out. I don't have to cut it out. I should have cut those flowers out before I started the video, but I didn't. I didn't really have time today. Cute. I like that on there. Yes, and once I put my seam binding in there, and I don't think I have a piece right here on my desk. Well, I do have a piece. It's not exactly the right color, but we'll go ahead and put it on anyway. 
I would want a bright pink one, but all I have right here on my desk is a white or a cream colored. But we'll put it in there. All my seam binding comes from my scrap cabin shop on Etsy. And there is a discount code. I usually always have it below the video. There you go. That one's finished. Okay, I just simply cut around that one. Very simple. Not, I didn't go into each little opening there. I just kind of cut it real quick. And I'm going to make a tag or a pocket that that will go on. I'll tell you what, I've got this piece. Oh, I think that'll go on there good. So this can be a tag. And I am going to cover it just so that I don't take away from the flower. I'm going to cover it with this. This is a piece of some of our vintage documents. So I think I'm just going to put that on there. That way it won't take away from the flower. The flower will be the main focal point. If you've got a lot in the background, then your flower is going to kind of get lost. Let's see if I can get this on there in the right spot. I did not. Okay, we're going to have to cut a little bit off. I left some white on there, but that's okay. We can always do something different if we need to. Okay. It may be, it'll, be, it'll make a good journal card, so that's okay. Oh yeah, that's still fine. No problem. But now I need something behind it because <laughs> the I feel like it blends a little too much. Do you guys? I think I might put a little piece of book page behind it. I don't know. That's just my thought. It may not. It may be fine and dandy, but just just my thought. It's like it blends a little bit too much. And I like vintage book page on there anyway. Okay, I think I'm going to put that book page up there. I want some of the writing to show. Now, you see my glue through that. I shouldn't have used that glue on there. But... Uh, it will dry and it'll be better. Right now you can see every little mark of it. I should have used my glue stick, but you know, I wasn't thinking about gluing right then. I was thinking about getting something behind there. It'll be all right. It's going to press it in real well. My flower's going to cover up a lot of it, but not all of it. Now I'm going to take my ink and I'm going to go around the edges of my flower just a little to make it look like it's finished off. If you've cut a piece like this and you think it just doesn't, something doesn't look right, if you'll go around it and give it a border, because this is giving it a border, then it will look more finished. See the difference that makes? Oh, I like that flower. That's a pretty flower. Now, hmm, see my glue's already drying, so it's going to be good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cover the back, I think. Yeah. And then we will, I think I'm just going to round the edges, I do believe. I'm just going to use another piece of this. It'll be a short journal card, but sometimes you need a short one in little areas where you've got a small, short pocket.
Our neighbors are already mowing the grass. I gotta get my mower fixed. It's tore up. Whoops, I didn't glue that down. The glue is wet, so it's not punching very well. I should leave it alone, but I'm not. All right, there is that journal card, and I'm just going to put a little label on it. I think I'm going to cut the dark green off of this label and put it there. If I can get the fuzz off my scissors. I've got a lot of paper piled up on my scissors. I think I might just put it right there. Alright, there is another journal card finished. So we did quite a few. Got a good start on another journal. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.